Reed said he still got it. He still got them, y'all. He still got Brooke and Taylor. Now you just in Taylor face. Now you back in Brooke face. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life is Chester. This is for the Bold and Beautiful June 1st, 2023. Okay, so <laughs> look, I said, I put y'all see that picture? I said, yeah. I said, this is what Reed's thinking. Yeah, I still got them. I still got it. He said, I still got it. <laughs> he don't. He, look, something Katie said. She was talking to Carter and she said, um, Basically, they talking about when they go to Rome and Ridge and Brooke be together. And if we don't know if Ridge made up his mind yet, why is it even up to him? Why is it still up to him? He done had plenty of time to decide who he wants. And I don't like once. I feel like you remember when he spoke and made a decision about who he wants. He had came off the plane with his daddy. Well, he wasn't on the phone. I think he was on the phone with his daddy when Ari asked if he made a decision and he was like yeah and then he rushed in there towards taylor and everything and then he seen brooke over there he's like hey and all that stuff and i said i feel like regardless of them saying that they made a pact you should have been like yeah i understand that but i need to tell y'all who i chose i think that would have solidified or proven who he wanted and i mean at the same time i think we know who he really be wanting I think he want both of them, whoever in his face. If they both in his face, he'll say something like, oh, I miss both of y'all and all this stuff. But I think out of the two, from what I've seen since I've been watching, he always ends up back with Brooke. He always do. And I, if why they can't never put Taylor with somebody? I want to see how he'll react if she gets with somebody else because, you know, I haven't seen that. I don't know who Taylor has been with since I've been watching. I've only seen Brooke be with multiple men and stuff. So maybe Taylor was with somebody else. Who knows? Well, y'all probably know, but still. So, okay. On today's episode, Taylor is egg and deacon on this food. He gonna go... I said, why would you listen to her? What has Brooke done to indicate that you have a chance with her? What has she done? Why would you... I know they supposed to be best friends now and all this stuff. I mean, technically, she just admitted that she no longer trusted her. So why would you... And even you keep saying that she has, that she doing it to clear it away and everything. So why would you go take her advice and... He took her advice at the end of the episode. But yeah, Taylor's egg and dicking on about Brooke. Brooke and Ridge bonding and everything, looking at, I think, a video of RJ or something he was doing. And they was like, Ridge was like, he didn't know how to react to it. And she was teaching him how and everything. Then they showed Katie and Carter. And I said, they back on today. And why do they have, look, they be so focused on everybody else's business. We don't get to see they, they uh, situation. Like, how far along are they? You know, then they could become a couple. I don't even know at this point. You know, Bill had mentioned them the other day on one of them episodes. I think Monday's episode, Monday or Tuesday's episode, or that was last week. I can't remember. But other than that, we don't see nothing. We don't know how it's going. We don't know if she officially told him about the kids. We don't know if um, Bill still, I think he said he ain't going to give up. But still, we haven't seen them. But they talking about Ridge and Brooke and everything. But, look, I said Ridge a player, player. He told Brooke being away from her. When he was away from her, it was hard. It was so hard, and he don't ever want to do that again. I said, okay, then you both tell Taylor. Tell Taylor what you just told Brooke. Tell her you bad. Tell her. Say, look, I love you, the mother of my children. I'm going to always love you. I'm always here. You know what they say. I'm going to always have a special place in my heart for you. All that same retired old book. <laughs> Go tell her. I want to. Look, why don't nobody tell her, say, but Brooke is the one I want to be with. She, oh, we always find our way back. I hate to hurt you like this. You know, get her the old sob story. Like, but he didn't do that. And he doesn't do that. I want to see if he do it this time. Because, you know, again, there's spoiler pictures and videos of Brooke telling him yes. I don't know if he proposed. I don't know if he's saying, will she have him back? I don't know. But she's saying yes and they kissing and everything. But, yeah, I thought on yesterday's episode, I was like, okay, is they about to try to trick Brooke and Ridge to see how they truly feel, if they a couple or something? But, no, she just urging Deacon up. It would have worked better. I don't think it would have worked at all. But at the same time, it would have been interesting to see how they react to them being together or trying to be together and stuff to see how they react to it. But then again, they did say that the other pack was that they weren't going to talk to no man that they both have had dealings with or they one of the other had had deal, dealings with. But yeah, that would have been interesting. But yeah, Rich still can't make up his mind. Uh, Taylor go to talking about <laughs> look, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor trying to be slick. They said that she breaks the pay. They said she broke the pay earlier this week, I think. But I think on tomorrow's episode, I don't know if her and Rich supposed to kiss, but they said Brooke is gonna see something shocking. She gonna see something shocking. I said that would be the only thing shocking to walk in and see them kissing or something. 
But Brooke is still talking about this doggone pack. And I said, lady, that pack is out the way. <laughs> that pack is over. The pack is gone. The pack should have been gone. Uh, what was that? Christmas when they kissed. And then when she had that lingerie on and dropped that lingerie for this man, it should have been over then. But it definitely was over when she you came in that office telling her to help you when you just dismissed her son. Crazy. I said, what's wrong with her? But yeah, she look. She still talking about that pack. I said, lady, if you can't tell by now, you ain't noticed that Taylor. Taylor was all happy and smiling since they became friends and everything. Taylor's energy now is completely different, and you can't notice that that pack is gone and over it. Look, she she must wasn't really in it to begin with, cause you can't tell. I was like, that pack gone. Taylor is done with that pack. She keeps saying how she doesn't trust. Uh, she no longer trusts uh Brooke, and Brooke has told Brooke has told Ridge that um. Uh, they she thought that they was about to be back, you know how they used to be arguing and stuff, but you know because they didn't argue like they usually do, and something about if we didn't let you come in between us, we're not gonna let our kids. I said mm-hmm. he did come in between y'all as well as y'all kids. I guess it just maybe they could be cordial and stuff, but apparently the friendship is over. She's still talking about that dog on pack. I said, girl, that pack is over with. This girl over here about to make the moves on him. When she brought that food the other day, that was her. That was a, a, a signal to Riz that yes, I'm game again. If you game, I'm game. <laughs> and she over here, but at the same time, they both keep doing sneaky stuff to the other person and be like, oh yeah, we got this pack. They are, it's kind of like I ain't gonna say they leading him on because he leading them on because he'll he'll be in one of their faces, then he'll be in the other person's face. And then if they both in his face, I mean, technically, when they both in his face, he'll say, oh, I miss both of y'all, and I love both of y'all, and all this stuff, and just egging it on. So I was like, well, he's kind of honest in front of them. He definitely honest in front of them, though. But, yeah, he done told Brooke he miss her, and they keep saying they miss each other. He said, it was the hardest thing to do to be away from you. I said, tell that to Taylor. Now Taylor in his face. I said, look, <laughs> we was doing so well. Now we're about to get the same storyline over again. But a lot of people, a lot of fans are speculating that um, Taylor is actually going to end up with Deacon. I want to see how that all plays out, though. But um, Ta- Deacon going to ask Taylor if he really has a shot with Brooke. I said, did you? Why would, why would you listen to her? I said, he just want to believe it at this point. And he ends up saying a bunch of stuff to Brooke at the end of the episode that he said to Sheila about, oh, you inspired me. I've been doing so well since this and that. And I said, look, he's just like Carter. You know how Carter, he was tell a woman, I've never met a woman like you. <laughs> he pulled a Carter. You know how Carter always, every time he gets on a new woman, he'll be like, I never had a woman like you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I don't think he told Katie he loved her yet, but it's coming. Well, actually, he did say a three letter. He, I think he was telling them we basically said I love you, or Katie said it. One of them said it. Well, yeah, look, he pulled a, a Katie or whatever. But yeah, Katie and Carter was just talking about Ridge and Brute the whole time, talking about them being in wrong together, and they think that that's gonna rekindle everything and put them back together. They destiny. They know that they got their friendship with Taylor. They Brute got their friendship with Taylor, but. Basically, what we all been saying that he always returns back to her, which is true. But um, what else? Taylor thinks that Deacon is the key to breaking up the cycle that's been going on for so long. She said, "Look here, you go over here and distract Brooke, so I could go here and make a move over here with Ridge." And she ran. Look, she teleported to the office. Look, but Brooke did tell uh, Ridge that Deacon had called and said it was important and everything. Look, at least he knows. So. If the situation was like, oh, she was with Deacon, she was with this and that, he knows already. And I, y'all know I always say, don't never give nobody a chance to tell your truth. I always say that in my videos when it applies or whatever. But when Taylor came to the office where Ridge was, she was like, she was like, uh, if you're looking for Steffi, she in a meeting or something. If you're looking for your new best friend, she's gone to see Deacon. And she act like she was shocked. She didn't know it or whatever. And she kept hitting that. She kept on dropping hints like um, they meeting up and all that stuff, and maybe it's not about they they do have a child together. They first of all, yes, they, they have a child together, but that child ain't a child. She a grown woman. No, yeah, I know. I hate when people do that. <laughs> I hate when people do that. They grown like you. Tell me, I don't know when she was talking when Taylor was talking to Deacon. She was talking about son. I know her. We want her parents together. I said, that lady is grown with her own husband and family. It's a little too late to be playing house. <laughs> it's a little too late to be playing house. 
I think that's a trick to tell somebody to be together for the sake of a child. It's already a trick to tell somebody to be together for the sake of a child that's actually a child, but a grown person, are you crazy? They're going to go on about their life and do whatever, and you're going to sit up here and be with somebody just for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Taylor Kelly hinted at making hints to Ridge, and Ridge was displaying that he was upset about the fact that uh, he's talking about, so what else would Deacon want to talk to Brooke about? And that uh, Taylor notices that he feels some type of way about it. So she starts, she switches the conversation or whatever. And what did she say? She was like, you and I, this, we have kids to get, yada, yada, all this stuff. I said, she about to put the moves on. <laughs> she said, now's my chance. She said, now's my chance. And I was like, man, Taylor, give it up. The day he walked out on you again at your wedding is the day you should have dropped him. And that's why I said they should have did a storyline with her having somebody so he could see how I feel or whatever. Because it's always like... He always, from what I heard, everybody saying, he always leave her. So I was like, no. That's why I didn't understand why they kids encouraging them to be together and excusing Ridge's behavior. Because the longer you allow somebody to do that crap to you, the longer they're going to take full advantage of it. And you can't be like, oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, you knew. You knew he. Then he was talking about the other day, I don't know why they swore me off. I don't know. And just acting like he don't know what he did. I said, you know, doggone well what you did. <laughs> playing these women i said look he said if brooke reject me i'm gonna go with taylor if taylor reject me i'm gonna go with brooke i think he's gonna go to brooke regardless the way he be acting for her but i don't know we don't know he might trick us that uh spoiler video and everything it might not be what we think it is deacon is a uh, brooke want to know why he called and why he going down memory lane he's like i want to know they ended it with um he want to know if he has a chance with her i said nope that chance is out the window but y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. What y'all think about what Taylor doing? Are y'all shocked by this? I seen somebody said that's what she do. And I said, I don't know. I ain't been watching it. I've been watching it a, a while, but on and off, I said it. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this episode down below. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, deuces.